In this video, I'll show you how we can make this beautiful social menu on your Elementor website. So when you hover over on this menu items, you can see this beautiful Instagram animation with this nice white background. And in the middle, you can also see these moving eyes, which are also moving with your mouse cursor. So without any further ado, let's see how we can make this cool effect. Okay, so here I will start everything from scratch. But if you also don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this thing as a ready-made template, you can also get this from my template shop. And here as a bonus, you will get both the container and the old section column version. So if you are using container, you just need to go inside this and you can see this JSON file. Let's go to the template upload option and drag this JSON file to here. Then here you can see the template. Let's just insert this. And from here you can edit all the content and the other things. And it's also responsive for the tablet, mobile or any other devices. Okay, but if you also don't want to get this ready-made template, you can also start it from scratch. So I want to delete all of this. And now I will do everything from here. So let's click on this plus icon and select this layout. And first of all, I want to make it to full height. So from here, make the unit to VH and also set it to 100 VH. And I also want to change its background color to this greenish color. Now inside this, to create our menu, we will use an icon list widget and drag it to here. For these items, we don't want any icons. So let's just delete this. Just keep this text. And you can put your link here. Okay, and I want to delete all of the remaining items and just duplicate this couple more times and change the content. Now, first of all, I want to change the font. So from here, let's make its font size to 155 pixel. And you can see these are overlapping on each other. So let's give some line height and also change the other font option. Also make this color more dark. So from here make it to fully black and I want to give some space between them. So from here make it to 60 pixel and also align them to the center. But here I also want to make this whole icon list widget to align to the center of this container. So go to this container again and make all the alignment option to the center. Now here at the middle, I want to create our these two eyeballs. So for that, we need to first take an another container where we will place our that content. And to place it on here, we need to first make its position to the absolute. And from here, we need to remove these default offset values. So inside this, I will create our first eyeball. So let's take an another new container and I want to give it a round shape. So for that, first we need to make it an e square. So give the same height and width for this. From this background option, make the background to fully white. And to make it a round shape, we need to give some border radius. So give it to 50%. Also, let's add some little border. So make it to solid and give the color to black. So we have created this white part of our eye. Now inside this, we need to create our that black eyeball. We will create this with our divider widget. We need to convert this line to an another circle. So first, let's give it a weight. Here we don't need any gap at the top and bottom. So also remove this. And we need to make the same amount of width. So from this width option, first make it to custom. And make it to 35 and like before to make it a circle from this border option make it to again 50 percent but you can see it's not working properly because you can see we have created our this black color from our this color option so first we need to remove this make it to fully transparent instead we will use this color from our this background option Okay, now we can see that round shape. We just need to place it at the middle here. So go again over this container from this navigator. We can see this container here. Go to its layout option and make it to the center. Okay. 
here we can still see some gaps because of the default padding of this container so let's make it to zero perfect now we can create our another eyeball just by easily duplicating this container but before that first of all i want to check it for our other devices because if we first duplicate and then do our responsive work then we need to do that responsive work again for our that duplicated content okay so we can see for tablet it's good and for the mobile we need to fix the height and width so go to again here and make it to 100 by 100 pixel also let's reduce the size of this black eyeball make it to 30 pixel and we need to also reduce this okay but here we can see this weight option is not a responsive option that means when we change these values this will also changes for the desktop and all other devices because here we cannot see any device icon beside this option but don't worry we will fix that with our custom css letter so let's now go back to our desktop and here we can now just duplicate this container okay so we need to place them in one line for that let's go to our this container and from here we need to set this direction to the row and also make it to the center perfect so we have created all of our designs now we will add our all the effects so first of all i want to add the effect with our this menu so we need to go to here and first of all add a class mdw stagger menu and also we need to add some custom css here and if you don't know this custom css option is only available in elementor pro so if you don't have elementor pro you can also quickly get this from my link on the description let's paste this here you also don't need to worry about any of this code snippet i will give all the code snippet to my website and also give that website link to my description so from here you just need to copy and paste that code so after the css we also need some javascript code so let's search for an html widget and drag it to right here before this icon list widget and paste that code if we save this and from our preview we can see this stagger animation is perfectly working with this white background so if you also want to change this white background you can also do that if we go to this custom css here at the top you can see this white background option and you can also change the speed of that white background and also you can notice that here is some animation delay between each of these letters so if you also want to make that delay faster or slower you can also control that from letter animation difference option okay so we have done with our menu now finally i also want to add that eyeball animation so go to our this container and with this one we also need to add an another class mdwi effect and let's also add some another css and one thing you can see these eyeballs are goes behind our this menu so to bring them font we need to increase the z index of this container okay now we can see this eyeball animation is also perfectly working so we have done almost everything now finally i want to fix some little things like here you can see these little gaps between these two widgets so we need to fix that from this container option make this gap to zero and finally let's also check it for our other devices so for the tablet we need to reduce this font size so from here make it to 135 pixel and for the mobile device we need to reduce it furthermore and i also want to reduce the gap between these two eyes so go to this container and make this gap to 15 pixel okay now this is also perfectly working for the mobile devices so that's how you can create this beautiful stagger menu on your elementor website if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video